What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to show you guys the easiest and cheapest way to make your own fly screens or window coverings at home yourselves. Just like this one here, I'm going to show you guys step by step how to do it. Let's do this. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you just how cheap, easy and fast it is to make your own window coverings or fly screen frames at home yourself with very little tools, very little materials. It's going to cost probably about $30 per fly screen to make yourself. The tools and the materials that we're going to need is, first of all, our fly screen frame. So this one here comes in a whole range of different colors. They come in lengths of 2.5 meters um, and they cost about $9 each. So they're very, very cheap. You'll notice there's a little ridge down the bottom here and that's for our spline to sit into. So we're going to need some rubber spline. This one here is 6 mil in diameter and the reason we use our spline is to basically secure the mesh onto the actual frame itself. The next thing we're going to be looking at is our spline roller. These ones here cost anywhere from about $3 upwards and it'll make your life so much easier to use one of these. We've got a flathead screwdriver which we're going to be using to push our spline into the corners of the frame. We've got our hacksaw here with a nice sharp blade on it. Um, 32 teeth is what we're using on this one here in order to be able to cut nice clean cuts into that al aluminium or aluminum as some people like to say. We've got our mitre box. Um, any cheap mitre box will do the trick. This one here costs about $5 and it's very, very cheap, easy, effective and a very useful tool. Next thing we've got is our corners. So we've got here our plastic corners that sit in the corners of the frame and this is what's going to support and hold the frame all together. Couple other things, we've got a sharpie or a pencil, tape measure and the only other thing is our fly screen mesh. So we've got here standard Fly screen mesh is all we're using to put this all together. So now that we've got that quick spill out of the way, let's get straight into it guys, step by step. I'll show you just how easy it is to make these. All right guys, so our measurements are 390 in millimeters wide and 980 in height. So the first thing we're gonna have a look at is the uh, little ridge that I was talking about before. So that ridge there always has to be on the inside of our frame. So you guys will know exactly what I mean a little bit later on once we start cutting this. Um, but what we wanna need to make sure is this one here is always a short side. So anytime we make our cut, it's always gonna be coming down on a 45 degree angle with having the shorter side being the ridge side. So that's the only thing that you need to keep in mind before we actually measure our first piece. I'm gonna cut this section here off. That way I can measure from tip um, to the other end, um, take my measurement and then all I have to do is just simply cut the other end off, making sure once again always that the ridge here is always on the shorter side. So let's make our first cut using our mitre box. I'll just position this one here so it doesn't move anywhere. I'll put it on this side so you guys can see what's going on. So like I said, we're going to be cutting down that way. So all we do, take our mitre saw, um, our hacksaw, sorry, line that up, making sure this side here is our shorter side, which is the side where the frame is. Make sure it's all nice and square and cut that piece through. So once that's cut guys, this is what it looks like. You can see that the smaller side here of the mitre cut is the section where the spline goes into. So remembering this side here is going to be the inside of the frame is very, very important to making our cuts. Now we can take our tape measure, mark it on the top here or position it on the top, run it all the way across and we'll measure up our 390, which is our width. So we'll just take our tape measure, position this one here. Using our Sharpie, we'll make a little marking. Mark that one there at 390. So now that we've got our width at 390, we've got our little marking here. Once again, we'll position this one here in the mitre box. And we're going to remember that the spline side is always the shorter side. So if we line up our hacksaw on our marking, we can see here the way I've got it positioned. The smaller side is going to be the side where the ridge goes into or the spline goes into. So once again, we'll cut this section here off. And once that's done, you can see now we've got our first piece, which is the width. Okay, we've got our spline running down the bottom here, which is going to be on the inside of the frame. And we made sure to uh, cut this one here as the shorter side. So now this here is now the top or the bottom piece of our frame because we've got our width measured at 390. We'll make another piece exactly like this one here. So once again, we'll make our first cut. So once again, we're going to cut this one here off, having our spline side being the shorter side. The reason why I've said it so many times is that's probably the biggest mistake that people tend to make, um, cutting it the wrong way. So making sure this one here is always the short side. We'll get our first piece, cut that one there, position it so that we can actually um, measure up for our second piece. 
So now that we've got this piece here ready to go, what we're going to do is instead of using the tape measure to measure again, what we can do is we can actually lay our new piece or a piece that we've just cut, line that one there up, make sure it's 100% square on the back end, and then we'll take our Sharpie, and we can mark this side here, so we'll know exactly where our cut's going to go. And now we can cut that piece exactly the same size. And just cut this one here through again. So now we've cut this second piece, we can lay it on top of our first one. Make sure we had our measurements right, everything lines up perfectly, they're exactly the same size. Put these two here on the side, we're now going to measure up and cut for our length, which was at 980. Alright guys, so now we've got our four pieces cut, this is where the fun part actually begins. Um, and that's because you get to see it all come together. So we'll take out our first piece, remembering the spline goes on the inside. So we'll position the first one like that. Second one, third and fourth ones. And now what we're going to use is our corner pieces. So we've got here our plastic corners, and I'll show you guys how these ones here all come together. So if we take our two pieces, we'll take our corner piece as well, and you'll notice it slides right into that pocket right there. So the section that we've cut, we'll just tap this one here down, take our other side, wiggle it through until we actually line up the mitre joint here. So we're just going to squeeze these together until we've got a nice tight mitre and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So once again with the plastic, push that one there through. And then with the last piece, I like to always put it in this way makes it a little bit easier so I'll just feed both corners on the last piece and then we'll slide that one in from the top so just one at a time bit by bit wiggle that one there through and then all we have to do is just simply go around the edges make sure all those mitre joints are nice square and tight alright guys now we're going to take our mesh Lay that over the actual frame. Make sure you've got enough clearance or overhang on the edges. This one here is the end of the roll, so it's perfect for me. We'll take our screwdriver, our spline, and our roller. So we're going to start off in one corner. Take the screwdriver and just simply press that in to start it all off. Make sure it's in there nice and tight, and you can see it starts having a little pinch point there. Um, that's basically going to stretch out the fly screen. So we'll take our spline roller, line that up, and just simply roll that spline all the way through that little groove that we are doing, uh, looking at before. So now that we've got all the way across, we're going to take our screwdriver again, go around the angle here, or around the corner, press that into place with the screwdriver, and then we can roll that edge off. So what I like to do is also pull the fly screen just a little bit, to make sure that we've got that tension on there. So we'll just pull it, make sure it's nice and straight. Once again, get to the corner, take the spline around the corner, push it into position. Then once again with the roller, you can just roll that all the way through. Making sure to put just a little bit of tension to make sure that you're not going to have any sagging sections. Corner again. We'll roll this one here up to the edge. And just before we get to the edge, we're going to take our utility knife and we're just going to trim that off. Now we can take our utility knife once again. Starting from the corner, we're just going to pull this one here up, cut it out of the way so that we've got a bit more play in there or a bit more slack, now we can get into that corner. What I like to do is I'll take that utility knife and just run it on the top of the uh, spline. Being very, very careful, you don't want to damage that section that we've just laid out. So we'll take our utility knife, running it up against the frame and on top of the spline. We're just going to peel this one here back. And just trim all that excess off. 
So we'll just run all the way around doing the same thing. And once that's done guys, this is the finished product. So we've got here a very nice looking fly screen or window covering. Very simple, straightforward to do, especially now that you guys have a step-by-step -step video showing you guys how to do it. No excuses, get out there and do it yourself. Save a little bit of money. As always guys, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time I'm Bill. Thanks for watching, Bill's out too.